and I'm thankful to be able to show you a few tricks on a grand piano, how to take off the fall board, how to take off the music desk, and how to potentially fix um, pedals when it's ringing. Uh, this is particularly uh, common after it's moved, it's tipped up on its side, some things may get jammed inside the piano. And so, can come in a little closer mm -hmm. in here? And if things get jammed in there, the keys might stick, and sometimes the pedals uh, are ringing or they're not quite working right. So I'm going to show you how to get into the piano and fix those things. So the first step here is to take off the music desk. In this case, it just it pulls out. Sometimes it slides out like this. Set it over here. Carefully out of the way. And this kind of fall board on a Yamaha, come on in here, it's a little specific. Um, and you have to sort of go like this, push in a little bit and lift up. See, it? there's a little bit of pressure I have to apply that direction as I'm pulling up, okay? And then I'll just let it hang out there. I'll come over here and lift a little bit. And then I'll lift both sides evenly like that. You can see there's a spring right here. See that spring right there? And there's a corresponding slot right here. So to put it back in, that slot goes over this spring and I just set it there. And then I look over here, stick it down into that little slot right there. You can see there's a dowel here. And there's a slot right there corresponding to the dowel. So I'll just set it in like that. Then I'll come back over here. I'll lift it a little bit, push it in, and then just slide it right down into place. And to make sure it's in there, just go like that. And it's back in. Okay, so, so that's taking off the fall board. I'll slip this over here. Oh, so it's safely out of the way. And the only tool you're going to need is a screwdriver. In this case, a Phillips head, but if you have a, a slotted screwdriver, then that helps in some cases. And to come under here, there's a couple screws, and sometimes it's a wing nut. Sometimes you can just do it with your hand, but in this case, these are called cheek blocks. I'll remove the cheek blocks. Another one over here. So we've got this cheek block. So I kind of kind of lift it out and then slide it like that. Set this down. Sometimes this is called the, this is called the key slip. And sometimes this key slip will have screws underneath. That you have to remove probably four, three or four or five screws. In this case, on a Yamaha, it doesn't have any. So you just lift it out like that. And we'll set it aside. Okay, now from there, even before that, you can just when you take the fall board off, you can see if there's any pencils or pens or Barbie dolls or records or or anything that might be in there, Legos, G.I. Joe's, and uh, and take them out and then you can put the fall board right back on. In this case, uh, maybe, maybe the pedal is sticking, and so I'll show you how to fix that as well. So we've taken it apart. We're gonna grab onto each side of the, the uh, action frame, kind of wiggle it as I pull, sliding it out. You wanna be careful as you slide it out, you don't press any keys, because if you press a key, the hammer raises, you pull it out, the hammer breaks. Particularly common up here. If you're going like this, you pull it out, boom, and the hammers break. Want to avoid that. From here on these, you can grab right here and lift it out. Alternatively, you can grab the front of the key with the front of the action with one hand, the back of the action with another hand, and lift it out like this. I've positioned the bench. So I can just set it over here on the bench. So it's balanced, it won't fall. From here, 
you'll notice this little dowel in here. Sometimes, particularly when taking the pedal lyre, this is called the pedal lyre, this whole thing, when taking the pedal lyre off in a moving situation, and then putting it back on, sometimes this dowel will come out of place. In this case, it, it can't, it's adjusted well. But sometimes it'll come out of place and it'll cause these, it'll cause the, the dampers to, to stay up. And you'll get this ringing sound, kind of that vibrating ringing sound versus a, a quiet sound like that. That's what you want. So in that case, you just pop this back in. If you need to, you can come back underneath here. Right underneath, right there, is where you'll see it goes into the bottom of the piano. Okay. And that's how you can fix ringing, ringing dampers. Uh, probably the most common form of ringing dampers or cause thereof in a moving situation. And then of course just reverse the process and put it back together. Do that real quick. I'm kind of leaning it on my thighs like this. Once the hammers get underneath this uh, stretcher bar, this is called the stretcher bar, you can hang out there while you reposition. Push it in evenly. There's a spring over here, so you have to get past that pressure point. If you can see that spring in there. Right in there, you see that? Yeah, right in there. So you have to sort of push through that on this right side. Go straight in. Put the key slip back on. Cheap blocks. Screw them back in. Screw back in. Put the fall board on, music desk, and you're good to go. That's a little tip on how to fix sticking keys, remove the fall board, fix ringing pedals, ringing dampers from Duncan Peterson at The Gilded Piano. Mm -hmm.